My name is Russ, I'm the singer for Good Riddance. I was singing for a band that was sort of a part-time kind of fun thing in the in the very late 80s, early 90s, and then there's a there's a thrash metal band in our town around the same time, and Luke was in that band, our guitar player. He had long hair then, and and then he started getting into punk, and, and our bands played together a lot, and he and I sort of decided we should start a band together, and both of us were uh, driven a little bit to like try to play outside of our hometown and, and actually try to be a serious band. So we set about trying to find other people that were like-minded and eventually we ended up with the right mix of people and we were kind of doing the right thing at the right time and sending demo tapes out and we got on a label that released an album and then that that was it. I mean, once we once we had a band going, we, we were partly trying to get us get into the scene and, and see what else was playing and get on shows and network and then a lot of it too is promotion like going up going to shows if we had a show in two weeks we'd go to a show with little handbills and like hand them out and tell people hey come to this show too you know and so we did that a lot and then we would go see you know if bad religion came to the san francisco or whatever which was close for us we're from santa cruz uh, we'd go up there and see them so yeah we we traveled around a lot, saw as many bands as we could, and tried to network and get on shows and you know do that whole thing. Luke's background, since he's, he's you know he's metal, but he, he loved RKL. That was like his crossover, like that's what got him into kind of listening to more punk. But we we grew up on like Bad Religion, uh, RKL, Battalion of Saints, Dead Kennedys, uh, Adolescence, Black Flag, TSOL, bands like that. I was always drawn to the political aspect of punk rock back then, and so like that's what attracted me first. And then and that sort of it's, it still ha it still does attract me, and that's what that's sort of what our band started as is like it was like oh I could sing for a band, and then I can have a platform for these political beliefs I have and uh, but yeah I was I was influenced a lot by politics through punk rock like I never learned about him anyplace else like they definitely shaped a lot of my beliefs that I still have today and like how, how I've grown up as an adult basically was raised by lyrics of bands that I listened to and uh, so I'm pretty grateful for that I just just being being this old like and, and I don't know if it's want to say jaded, but I think that there's a lot more bands than there was when we started, and now it's easier for bands to to exist. They can they can get their music out to more people with tech, the technology that's available, which I think is cool. But I just think there's just too many bands. It's so hard to it's hard to get people to notice your your band because there's so many to choose from, and so I think that's that's one of the big things. Like we were fortunate to be on a label that at that time was becoming sort of like a really popular label and so people would like, they would buy our album not even knowing anything about us just because we were on that label. And then, but then they became fans of ours and now it's like I don't know how a band can make, I don't know how bands can, can get started now. Like if I was starting a band now I don't know how I would go about doing it because it's, there's so many. I mean I, I heard a band who's not a new band but a, a band that I heard for the first time in Gainesville last year called the Menzingers and and I really really liked it like a, it was a really cool thing to go play this fest never heard of this band watch them play and I was like this is I was I loved it immediately bought all their albums and uh, yeah so that, that was cool like discovering something like that uh, when you when you've been around the music a long time and think you've seen it all and done it all and like when a band can like stand out that you've never heard of it's really it was really cool it was a cool experience well I think that our band, and maybe this is for every band's story, we have we had a career arch. We had on the way up, uh, like things like, oh, like we would play a city at a show and it was okay, and then we'd come back the next year and we'd play the bigger club, and then we play the next year and be the, even the bigger club, and we're like, oh, this is really cool, and like we're going from supporting bands to suddenly we're headlining, and like all these people are here to see us, like that's great, and then then you get to the spot where we started going down again and like less people than last time and less people and that's sort of why we decided to stop playing in 2007 like we didn't want to be a band that outstayed our welcome like we felt like we we had a really good run and we're really fortunate and had a lot of, of opportunities and we didn't want to keep doing it if people weren't interested in it so i think that the first couple you know tours on the way down were, were sort of a wake-up call like we, you see it happen to other bands, and we thought, oh, that's not, that one happened to us, and it was happening to us, and we're like, wow, okay, so this is this is what it's like. 
and we could we could either try to change our look and our style to fit whatever fad is or fashion is cool then or or uh, and we didn't want really to do that and so we were like well let's, let's just stop playing so we had distance from each other and from the band and I think in that time the band for me got right sized like it, as a working band where, where that was all we did all the time there was pressure that we put mostly on ourselves we have to do a better album than last time we have to sell more tickets to our shows than last time we have to sell more records than last time and it was consuming and, and looking back now it was, a lot of it was, was minutia it was trivial and yet we let it I let it affect my mood and my my like opinion of myself as an artist, and so in the in the five years, the band was able to take on like a right size to me, where like we weren't the greatest band that ever lived, probably not the worst band that ever lived, somewhere kind of in the middle there, and that's okay. And and now we get a chance to just play shows and have fun without worrying about all that stuff because we know that our our little tiny speck in musical history is is well cemented no matter what happens from here on out. So. It's kind of a freeing experience to play shows just because we like the songs and not have to worry about like any of that other stuff. I'm sure it's going to be pretty cool. I, I mean, I, for me, more of it's, it's like getting it, getting the opportunity to travel. You know, so few people get to, or when they do, that it costs a lot of money, and, and we've been really fortunate that we've got to see the world and touch people's lives and see the world in, in like not a tourist kind of way, but like in a different, a different way. And and I, I me personally. My experiences in this band traveling have been very eye-opening on like a cultural, political level, and it's 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 enriched my view of, of myself and my country and the world that we live in. And so I think that any opportunity to do that is is great. And I'm just happy to get a chance to go someplace someplace different. And with people, we've been getting we have we have fans in Brazil we know of that have been waiting for us to come down there for a long time. So hopefully these shows will be awesome to to get to like other parts of Southeast Asia like we've played Japan before but we're hoping to maybe try to get to some other places around there like go play Japan but then while we're in that area play some other you know random places that, that not a lot of bands would play uh, I'd like to, we'd like to play Mexico at some point uh, I can't think of anywhere else I mean we never played Russia never played Finland Brazil next month mm -hmm. a few shows which is cool we've never been there and then we got to think about what we want to do now we've we've been do, playing shows for about a year now and we have some new songs starting to float around and and maybe we want to do a new album uh, but but like trying to find the time to do that with everybody's schedule is, is different than it used to be it's a, a challenge so we have to decide do we want to record a new album and if so how and when will we make that happen that's kind of the next move for us